All right, everyone, welcome back and welcome to your new unit of multiplication and division. And so let's, like always, get started right away. Um, what are the re related facts for 9 times 8 equals 72? And what are the related facts for 8 times 8 equals 64? And how do you know how many related facts a multiplication fact has? So some things you need to know, maybe something called factors, and you would encounter this word factors in grade four. Factors are numbers you multiply to get a product. If I'm doing nine times eight equals 72, nine and the eight are factors, factor, factor, and the product is the answer uh, of when we multiply. So for nine times eight equals 72, nine and eight are factors, and 72 is the product. Well, let's talk about some strategies you can use to help you multiply. You could do something called skip counting up from a known fact, and you might have done this before. So to find 6 times 8, maybe start with something you know like 6 times 6 equals 36. And, and if you don't know that, I'm sorry, but let's pretend you do know 6 times 6 equals 36. Well, you can count up, count up by 6s to get two more groups of 6. So if I know 6 times 6 is 36, I could add two more sixes which would equal 48 so six times eight is 48 and if you if you use a number line this might help so you know your your 36 right here i add six i add six and it gets me the answer 48. well maybe another strategy is doing something um counting down skip count down from a known fact so maybe to find six times seven well maybe you know seven times seven equals 49 and you could take away one group of seven, so subtract one group. So 49 minus seven is 42. So six times seven is 42. And again, there's that number line. If you know seven times seven is 49, you could subtract seven to get to six times seven, and that equals 42. Well, talking about division though, strategies for division, you could use related multiplication facts to find the quotient. Whoa! Related multiplication facts to find the quotient. So you know now what a product is. A quotient is the answer when you divide. So you could use multiplication. We talked about this in the previous unit uh, about related facts between multiplication and, and division. So if you need to find 72 divided by 8, oh my, that scares me. Well, you could think, well, what is 8 times what equals 72? 8 times something has got to equal that 72. And so, well, I know 8 times 9 is 72. And so 72 divided by 8 equals 9. And so like we talked about, um, so here's 8 times 9 equals 72. We said that's a factor, that's a factor, that's a product. Division has a couple different names. So quotient is um, the answer. The dividend is the big number, and the divisor is what you're dividing by. And I don't know if you noticed, but the dividend will always be the same as the product in the related multiplication facts. What about if you had to multiply by something like zero? Well, four times zero is four groups of nothing. Well, if you had four plates with zero sandwiches on the plates, then you have no sandwiches. So four times zero equals zero. And so zero times four is no groups of four. So zero times four is zero. Um, maybe the easiest way to think about this is anything times zero will always equal zero. Okay, even zero times zero will equal zero. Four times zero, 19,000 times zero, zero times a bajillion equals zero. Now, what about dividing zero by a number? Well, if I asked you to divide six divided, you know, zero divided by six, think of related multiplication facts like we said before. Well, six times which number is zero? Six times something is zero. Like we just said, anything times uh, zero is zero. So zero divided by six is zero. So if I said, what is zero divided by thousand? I don't know. Okay. So I gotta think, well, a thousand times what equals zero? Well, anything times zero is zero. 
Again, dividing by zero. If you needed to find seven divided by zero, let's think again in multiplication. Zero times which number is seven? Think about that. Zero times which number is seven? Zero times what equals seven? If you're paying attention, there's a problem here, okay? There is no number you can multiply by zero by to get seven. Zero times whatever is always gonna be zero. It cannot be seven. So therefore, you cannot divide a number by zero. And if you don't believe me, take a calculator out and try seven divided by zero. You will probably get something that says error. You cannot do it, it's impossible. All right, I'm gonna get you to try something here. Rita works at a pizza, sh pizza shop. From her intense pizza making training, she knows that each pepperoni pizza gets four slices of pepperoni. Well, she received an order of eight pepperoni pizzas. How many slices of pepperoni will she need to make the order? Okay, let's deal with that one first, and I do have another one after, but so let's let me break this down. She works at a pizza shop. She knows that each pizza gets four slices of pepperoni. Obviously, the cheapest pizza, you know, they're chintzing out on something here. Only four slices of pepperoni per pizza, but she needs eight pizzas made. How many slices of pepperoni will she need to make the order? I'm gonna get you to pause this right now and press play when you're ready to start. Okay, so she has, she knows that four uh, pieces uh, of, sorry, four slices of pepperoni is one pizza. So four times one pizza is four slices of pepperoni. Well, we need to do eight. So four times eight is 32. So the answer to this is she would need, that's a really ugly D, 32 slices of pepperoni to make those eight pizzas. Now, let's say the pepperoni comes pre-sliced in pack, you know, so they're already cut up, pre-sliced in packages of 16 slices. So she needs to open a bag that has 16 slices of pepperoni in it. How many packages will she need to make the order? Again, I'm gonna get you to pause that and I'd like you to press play when you think you have an answer. Okay, so I gotta think here in terms of division actually. So I have 16 in one package. If I was to divide by the four slices she needed for each pizza, I have to figure that out. So in other words, four times what equals 16? Well, I know four times four is 16. And what does this four represent? That means she can make four pizzas out of one bag of uh, pre-sliced pepperoni. Well, I'm not looking for four pizzas. I'm looking for eight pizzas. Well, if I know that, if one bag is four pizzas, two bags is eight pizzas. So she needs two packages because one package does is four and so another package will do four and four plus four is eight. Okay, you try one more here. Jackie knows that the product of six and 10 is 60. How can she use that fact to find the product of six and nine or I'm gonna get you to do both here, and six times 12. So she knows six times 10 is 60. She knows this for a fact, but how can she use that knowledge to help her find the product of six and nine and six and 12? I'm gonna get you to pause that and uh, press play when you're ready to go. Okay, so she knows six times 10 is 60. Well, six times nine, she does not know, okay? And we'll encounter this later, multiples of 10 are, are easy because you just add a zero, that's a little spoiler. But if she knows that, this is one group of six. If I take away one group of, of six, I am left with 54. Therefore, six times nine is 54. Uh, going the other way though, six times 12, and if you get to your 12 times tables, which I really encourage you to, multi to memorize, if you don't quite know it, do something you do know, like six times 10 or anything times 10 or anything times 11 for the most part, will get you very close and all you have to do is skip up. So if I know six times 10 is 60, well, I'm doing six times 12, that is two more groups of six, two more groups of six, 
So I take my 60, I add 6, add another 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So 60 plus 12 is 72. Therefore, I know 6 times is 12 is 72. So you will encounter, I mean, in my classroom, my students need to know their 12 times tables. Um, until you get that memorized, a strategy you could use to help you get the answer quicker is do something you do know, like 6 times 10 or 6 times 11, um, and then skip up or skip down to what you need. So guys, please remember, in life, math happens. Take care. Thank you.